as I approach the midway point of the challenge, I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel and has been following me on this 90-day uh, journey. There have been moments where I've desperately wanted to quit. It's people like yourselves who have subscribed and even donated to all the people that have given comments and encouragement. I just want to say a massive thumbs up and a big thank you to all of you. So there's so much more left to do. I'm excited about the second half of the challenge. And hopefully it will bring things together in a way that people can see what it's going to be like when it's finished. So keep watching and commenting and giving me any guidance because I could do with plenty of that. And for people that are Facebook friends or Twitter followers, please do uh, continue to share or retweet any of the videos that I post up there. Thanks a lot, guys. Afternoon. It's day 43 now of the challenge and we've had two shocking days. Uh, just heavy rain and sleet and snow, which has meant I've done absolutely nothing other than edit uh, my latest videos. But today it's been a nice sunny day. To be honest, I got out here and completely forgot about setting up the camera and uh, recording anything. So what I've been doing this morning is cracking on with the fence. I've got uh, three rows worth there and then just hoping to finish off this, these next three posts here. I think I just need one more and that uh, will be finished. And then I'm gonna move on to weeding out the fruit border there and then filling it with plants. So I'm now onto the top row of fencing and I've decided to place the final top piece and screw it to this side of the post. And the reason for that being is obviously I've just extended here the current chicken wire fence and all the weight at the moment with the wood that's screwed on the back would be pulling it on the back. So what I've done for the top piece uh, is I've just draft screwed it on this side just to see if it looked okay, which it does. And it will help even out some of the weight if I put a slightly fatter piece across the top bit. So, close to finishing. So my signage from the charity is back up. It's taken a bit of a battering the last couple of days with all the wind and the rain and sleet. But as you can see, the fence line is uh, nearly done. I do need to do this panel here and this panel to completely seal it off from the dog. But uh, I think it's worked out quite well. Really pleased with it. So it's getting towards the end of the day and um, this afternoon, I have been thoroughly digging out and weeding the fruit border there. Uh, what I'm going to do now is mix in some compost, um, mix all that nicely together and then finish off by planting the raspberry and blackberry bushes that I've got stored in my greenhouse at the top of the garden. Adios! Hi! Well I've definitely suffered from a bit of um, lack of motivation over the last two days. The weather's really starting to get me down. I feel like I'm never ever going to finish this on time. Um, so it's been really nice today to um, weed this border here behind me, the first fruit border, and actually be in a position to plant something. And I'm hoping this will give me a bit of a lift and a motivation to keep on keeping on and uh, to finish it. So um, the first fruit that I'm going to be planting is, all of these are from Morrison's, is uh, an autumn raspberry, autumn bliss I think it's called. So there's two of those and then followed by a thorn free blackberry bush, whatever that is, so I've got two of those. And then finally at the end I've got a blue crop blueberry bush. So let's see how we get on.
Yeah. Yeah, two seconds. Well, my neighbour has just called me over and uh, presented me with this. Bottle of booze. Just for doing her mum a good turn. Oh, it's good, isn't it? I shall drink this tomorrow night. morning it's day 44 of the challenge today and it's Friday the 16th of February it's looking uh, pretty frosty out here today I'm gonna do some uh, crazy stuff today because I can't uh, dig at the ground I'm going to start clearing out this dump of an area it's a former greenhouse that obviously came down with some kind of weird storm I think so the neighbors tell me uh, it's full of branches, trees, saplings, bags of rubbish, you name it. So um, I want to empty it out and eventually turn it into a seating area. Maybe a bit ambitious, but let's give it a go. Greetings all. It's day 45, officially halfway through this 90 day garden challenge. And uh, as us women are able of doing on a regular basis, I've changed my mind about some of the design. Uh, the bed behind me, you can see I've already started to dismantle it. I've decided I want to put the greenhouse there instead, creating more space in the centre of the vegetable plot area. So today I'm going to be moving the cuts of wood that I'd already made and putting them into other uses. And with all good ideas, you never really quite realise how much hard work it's going to be to change these plans. But uh, I've managed to now dismantle what I'd drafted as regards to the bed. Started to even out the soil again and shovel everything back out that had been put in the raised bed there. I've moved it across there because there's going to be a new bed there. And so it's not worked out too badly but it has taken me about an hour and a half to do it. Ugh. Hello there, today's day 47 of the challenge and today I'm going to be spending my time building the new raised beds uh, that need to be incorporated into the design. If you remember a couple of days ago I said I'd change my mind about, oh, excuse the train going by, off it goes, <laughs> um, I'd, I'd said that I would decided to redesign the plot slightly. It's resulted in a, quite a bit of rework but hey that's life. So if you remember I'd said that I was going to plant a fruit tree here behind me in this round bed that I'd created out of bricks. After much thought I've realised that actually the tree would cast shade and shadow over the raised bed that's behind me. So I'm going to do away with uh, having the fruit tree in that particular location and I'm going to convert that into a rectangular bed. On the opposite side again there was going to be a fruit tree and that is also going to be converted into a rectangular raised bed. So that's the job for today and after that I'm going on holiday. So 
that's the first rectangular bed put in place, mostly made by wood I'd previously cut for the L-shaped bed. So now, let's try and get the posts in. Hopefully, the ground's a bit warmer today. Might be a little bit easier. to bite the dust. So I had a bit of trouble finding some three meter pieces that were going to fit properly. So I've had to resort to getting two one meter 50 pieces cut and putting those two together. Um, and now I'll try and do the same again make the second layer. Well I'm about to sign off for a week now. Um, I'm off on a skiing holiday with my little daughter and a couple of friends and um, I feel quite happy with how things have finished off this week. I've managed to complete most of the redesign work and uh, remove one of the L-shaped beds and put two new rectang uh, two rectangular beds in their place. Had a good tidy up of the plot and uh, cleared the decks a little bit so that when I come back off holiday I'll be feeling fresh and recharged to carry on. Yeah.